questions for Drake, please. Uh, Jonas, go ahead. Hey, Drake. Uh, so far in the preseason, the linebacker group, you, Peyton, Isaiah, have gotten a lot of attention. Some people call it already maybe the best group in the ACC, possibly in, in, in the country. What, what makes this group so special? How do you guys kind of complement each other? And how do you guys kind of feed off each other? Um, you know, we've been playing together. I guess this is our third year playing together now. So we got a lot of chemistry. Um, we've come pretty close together over the past two years. Um, just, you know, continue to build that bond that we have. And we just know, you know, how every single one of us is going to react to certain things on the field. So it's easy to kind of, you know, bounce off of each other and understand where, every, you know, we're all coming from. Just feed off each other based off that. What, what, what would you say, like, some are, are some of uh, Isaiah's strengths or some of Peyton's strengths or something you do well that, that maybe they're not as good at? Um, you know, we all have, you know, strengths and weaknesses, obviously. Zay's super smart. So, you know, before the plays or during the play or before the plays, he's, you know, he's talking, he's letting us know what he's seeing. Um, you know, I'm taking in what he's seeing, you know, evaluating what, you know, and I understand what I'm seeing. And then Peyton's doing the same thing. And so, Zay kind of gets it started and we can, you know, Peyton, you know, we know he's going to get to the ball. He's going to play hard. He's going to be where he needs to be. And, you know, I think they both can trust me uh, to be where I am going to need to be in the plays. So, you know, a lot of times I'm feeding the play back to them. So it's setting the edge so they can really trust me to do that. Mike Toper, go ahead. Hey, Drake, a um, bit of a two-part question. As far as the linebacking group, does that make it easier entering fall camp, the fact that you guys have so much experience that you you know kind of know what's expected of you at this point? And um, the second part would be just the defense as a whole. What have you made uh, of that side of the ball these first few days of camp? Yeah, I definitely think it makes it easier, you know, knowing what we're going to get from each of the guys that's going to be out on the field. Um, but, you know, we want to continue to get better each and every single day. You know, you want to become complacent. We're going to keep on building on what we already have and, you know, just keep on getting better every day, like I said. Um, and from the defense, as far as what I've seen the past three days, I've been, you know, it's been really excited about what I've seen. You know, uh, we're out there. We have a lot of energy. We play hard. Uh, we play fast. You know, we, we, you know, we got a lot of guys. We got a lot of depth. So it's been fun to watch and fun to play uh, with everybody. Uh, Aaron Beard. Yeah, <clears throat> Drake, just to follow up on that, uh, what are the the main one or two things you see that has improved with a defense when you have as many returning starters as you do? I don't know if it's a communication thing, if it's guys just sort of instinctively knowing better where to be. What are the maybe the one or two things you see the most in that regard? You know, all of those things, honestly, just comes with experience. Um, communication is there. It's gotten a lot better. Um, you know, everyone knowing their assignments has been really good. Uh, and then, honestly, just depth in general. We have so many guys right now that have playing experience, and it's, you know, really good to see that, too. Andrew Snicker. Rick, obviously, you've gotten a chance to play with your brother here and Thayer, and now, obviously, you guys have Lex committed to NC State as well. Can you just talk about how special that is for your family? It's, you know, very special. Obviously, you don't see that very often where three kids and, like, you know, first of all, to even get to go play a college sport, you know, on scholarship, that's you know, rare to see. So it's really exciting. Um, you know, I've really enjoyed my time here with my older brother and I was so happy for my little brother when he decided he wanted to come here. So it's just, you know, my parents, you know, love this place. My family loves this place. Everybody to do with it, everyone involved. Just a really like a true family atmosphere, like especially now with all three of us, uh, you know, my little brother committed and us playing here. Uh, go ahead, Corey. Drake, I wanted to ask you about uh, having to face not just uh, the running backs in general, but Bam Knight obviously being a guy uh, that I think last year in terms of returning ACC players, I think he ranks like at the very top in terms of uh, yards after contact. What makes him such a difficult guy to tackle? Obviously, you face him more than anybody uh, on the practice field. I mean, we talk about it all the time on the defense. It's like, you know, when you talk, we tackle Bam, it's not like you're tackling, you know, whatever he weighs, 210-pound guy, 250-pound guy. It's like you're tackling like a 230-pound running back. 
And I don't, you know, I don't know how it's like that, but I guess he just runs hard. He's aggressive. Um, you know, and he, he's quick too. So you got to be you know, ready for that too. But he just runs the ball super hard. And he's a great running back. And as far as that running back unit in general, obviously there's guys like Ricky Person, Jordan Houston, uh, that makes that, that unit dynamic. You know, what exactly – uh, makes that unit so so difficult to face on a regular basis, and and how much do you feel like uh, they'll have a chance to to continue what they did last year and and be even better this coming up year? Kind of just like our group, honestly, they've had you know experience in that room. Uh, they know what to do. You know, they obviously very talented. So just you know the the experience on top of the talent that they already had, it just makes them that much better. So thank you. David Thompson, go ahead. Hey, Drake. Uh, wanted to ask you about your head coach's uh, first appearance on TikTok and uh, what you thought about it. And, and you know, if maybe the like first time you ever met him back when he was recruiting you, if you would have ever expected to see him, you know, do something like that and be on a platform like that. Uh, I thought it was pretty funny. I liked the video. Uh, I think it, you know, fits his personality well. He, you know, we're, he says it all the time. We're uh, blue collar school, hands in the dirt. So I like that video a lot. It was cool. And I mean, honestly, yeah, I, I mean, I don't think he's, I've, you know, college football has a lot of ways to, you know, I guess, promote different things on social media. So it doesn't really surprise me. You know. Do you think that's something that's become pretty important to him to try to adapt with the sort of the, the new era of things? I guess so. But I also probably believe he's willing to do whatever the, you know, the creative team is, you know, offers to think, you know, whatever they can put out, you know, whatever they think is good content to put out. Thanks. Jonas, you have another one? Yeah, I have one more about the, about the linebacker group. Obviously, um, you knew Peyton pretty well. You guys took recruiting trips together and known each other since high school. You met Isaiah once you got here. What, what was your impression of him once you first got here and met him? And, like, what are some things you learned from him? Because he had already been here a year once you got on campus. Uh, you're talking about Isaiah? Yeah, Isaiah Moore. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, um, I mean, Zay took me in right away. He was, he's been great since the second I even stepped foot in the door. You know, my, one of my first weeks here, he invited me, uh, and like, along with the other linebackers too, he invited me over to his house to watch, like, I think it was a basketball game going on at the time. You know, just um, helped me through the spring. Uh, my very first spring taught me, uh, then carrying over to fall camp, he was right there with me, helping me out. So, you know, Zay has been a big part of helping me and helping me grow as a player and just helping me get better every single day. You know, we, you know, bounce back off, like, you know, we'll bounce off of each other all the time, give you different ideas, and we just really probably help each other out a lot. And, and then, you know, obviously you, Peyton, and Isaiah are the starters, so you get a lot of the attention. But can you kind of talk about uh, Vi Jones and Jalen, who guys who started a little bit last year too, and their mm -hmm. role in that room? Vi is really versatile. He brings a lot to the table that, you know, we might not, you know, bring to the table, bring things to the table that we might not. So, you know, you get put him out there, you kind of get a different uh, sort of feel for what he's trying to do. So he has, can obviously rush the passer, he can cover, and he can also, you know, he can play the run too. So he's really versatile and he's good at what he does. And then Jalen has gotten, you know, better every single time I see him on the field. He keeps on, he plays hard, he's physical. You know, he knows with the playbook. So it's really fun to watch him play too. Anybody else have anything for Drake? We good? Okay, Drake, thank you. Appreciate it.